How to Become an App Developer in 2022 Hello guys, if you want to become an app developer in 2022 and want to learn mobile application development and you're wondering how to start, then you have come to the right place. Yes you heard it right, it's not just Android and iOS, but you can also learn new tools and frameworks like React Native and Flutter to develop native-looking mobile apps in 2022. Mobile app development is a lucrative field for programmers as it has all kinds of opportunities, from freelancing to working at large companies and launching your own apps like Angry Bird, Flappy Bird, or Pokemon Go and becoming an app millionaire. In this video, I am going to share 10 technologies you can learn to become a mobile application developer or someone who wants to improve as a mobile application developer for Android and iOS platforms can learn in 2022. This list includes things like framework, programming languages, and platforms, almost everything a mobile developer needs. In particular, I have included cross-platform mobile development frameworks like Flutter and React Native, programming languages like Kotlin, Swift, and Dart, and platforms like Android and iOS, which are essential for any mobile app developer in 2022. Though, one of the most important things to note here, is that you don't need to learn all the things I have mentioned here, in fact, all of them are presented here for informational purposes, so that you can choose which technologies and platforms are suitable for you. For example, if you are interested in developing native iOS applications for iPhone and iPad, they make most of the money on mobile apps, then learning Swift 5 and iOS is a good idea, but if you are interested in the Android platform, they have the highest reach, then learning Kotlin and Android 10 is a good option. And, if you are interested, like me, in developing cross-platform native mobile apps, both Android and iOS app from a single codebase, then you should learn Flutter or React Native, two of the leading frameworks for building a native mobile application. 10 Essential Skills App Developers Can Learn in 2022 Without wasting any more of your time, here is my list of some of the best frameworks, programming languages, and libraries you can learn to get into mobile application development. But hey guys! If you don't subscribe my channel yet then first subscribe it. Thanks! Number 1. React Native If they're a best library or framework you can check out for developing native cross-platform mobile apps, then they React Native. It uses React and JavaScript for producing high-quality native mobile apps. It's the right choice for all web developers who wants to become a mobile app developer and already familiar with technologies like JavaScript and React. If you are one of them, then I suggest you learn React Native in 2022. Number 2. Flutter. This is another excellent framework for developing cross-platform native mobile applications in 2022. Like Golan, TensorFlow, and Angular, Flutter is also from Google, which uses Dart, another programming language from Google, and provides SDK for developing a cross-platform native mobile application. It's always been challenging to release your app to different platforms like Android, iOS, and Windows Mobile, as you need to maintain a separate code base. Flutter solves that problem by allowing you to create mobile apps for both iOS and Android devices using the same codebase. Flutter has seen a lot of growth in the last two years, and it's now the number one framework for developing native mobile apps. Number 3. Kotlin. Kotlin is a general-purpose programming language from JetBrains, the company behind tools like IntelliJDEA, Reshaper, and PyCharm. If you don't know, Kotlin is the official programming language for developing Android applications as announced by Google a couple of years ago. It's a beautiful, JVM-based programming language and compatible with Java, another popular language for developing Android applications. If you are serious about developing mobile apps for the Android platform, the world's most popular mobile platform, then you should learn Kotlin. Number 4. Swift. Swift is another programming language from Apple which you can use to develop mobile applications for iOS, iPhone and iPad, macOS, MacBook Pro, watchOS, Apple Watch, tvOS, Apple TV, and beyond. It's a simple, elegant, and powerful programming language, full of modern features the developer loves. Swift allows you to write safe code without compromising speed and performance. If you are serious about developing mobile applications for Apple products like iPhone, iPad, and MacBook Pro, then you should learn Swift 5.1 in 2022. Swift 5.1 also makes it easier to create and share a binary framework with others. Number 5. Native Script. If somehow you didn't like React Native and Flutter and looking for alternatives, 
Then you can also check out Native Scripture. Native Script is a free and open source framework to develop a mobile application for both Apple iOS and Google's Android platform. It allows you to build native mobile apps in both TypeScript and JavaScript and using Angular and Voyages. If you are a front-end developer and already know frameworks like Angular or Voyages, then Native Script can be the right choice for you. Native Script features deep integration with both Angular and Voyages and allows you to write code on any language, which translates into JavaScript like TypeScript or CoffeeScript. Number 6. Android 10. This is the latest version of the Android platform. It was released in September last year, and unlike the previous Android version, it doesn't have any sweet names like KitKat, Oreo, or Lollipop. If you are interested in the Android platform or already an Android developer, you can learn Android 10 to learn new features like dark themes, smart reply, gesture navigation, 5G networks, enhanced location and privacy tools, etc. You can also optimize your apps for foldable and other large screen devices. Number 7 iOS. This is the latest release of the popular iOS platform, which powers the iPhone and iPad, two of the most powerful devices of humankind. iOS 15 is the latest iOS release. It also comes with exciting features developers have long been asking for. For example, with the iOS 15 SDK, your app can take advantage of dark mode, focus and notifications, Swift UI, UI kit, keyboard layout guides, core location UI, accessibility, augmented reality and more. Number 8. Ionic. This is another framework for developing hybrid mobile applications using JavaScript. Ionic also allows you to build cross-platform mobile apps, which means you can create an application for any platform using one codebase. Ionic Framework is free and open source and provides a portable UI toolkit for developing high-quality cross-platforms apps for native iOS, Android, and the web all from the single code base. It also has an Ionic React that leverages React for building hybrid mobile apps. Number 9. Dart. If you want to learn Flutter, which you should, if you are serious about building cross-platform native mobile applications, then learning Dart could be beneficial for you because Dart is the programming language that powers Flutter. If you don't know, Dart is a programming language from Google aimed at developer productivity. Unlike Golang, another programming language from Google, Dart is in between Java and JavaScript, and you can learn it quickly if you are familiar with any of this language. Number 10. Xamarin. If you want to build a native mobile application with .NET and C Sharp, then there is no better choice than Xamarin. Xamarin is a tried and tested platform and great for C-Sharp and .NET developer who wants to get into mobile application development. By using Xamarin, you can build native Android, iOS, tvOS, watchOS, macOS, and Windows apps using .NET with native API access. That's all about how to become an app developer in 2022. As I said you can either learn Android plus Kotlin, iOS plus Swift, Flutter plus Dart or simply React Native to become a professional app developer in 2022. You don't need learn all, just choose the combo which suits your skill for example, if you are a Java developer then learning Kotlin for Android development makes sense. Simply if you are JavaScript developer you should go for React Native. For example, if you want to build native mobile apps for iOS platforms then learn iOS 15 and Swift 5 and if you to develop for the Android platform then learn Kotlin and Android 10, and if you want to build cross-platform native mobile applications then learn Flutter and Dart in 2022. Thanks for watching this video so far. If you like this video useful and find these technologies worth learning for mobile app development, then please share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or feedback, then please drop a note. But if you don't subscribe my channel then please subscribe it.